As impeachment hearings continue this week in Washington, D.C., the president has a new star player on his defense team. Former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi is joining the White House communications team to work on a proactive impeachment messaging and other special projects. But as 10 News reporter Phil Buck explains, the two have a controversial history dating back to before Trump ever jumped into the presidential race. Well, President Trump, he knows he has an ally in Pam Bondi, the Tampa native and the former state AJ. She's no stranger to scandals involving both of them. So let's pick things up in September 2013. Bondi's office announces she's looking into investigating complaints against Trump University and its affiliates. Four days later, and Justice for All, which was a political group backing Bondi's re-election re campaign, they get a check for 25 grand from the nonprofit Trump Foundation. A few weeks later, well, Bondi says, yeah, she's actually not going to file suit against Trump over those Trump University complaints. Fast forward now to March 2016, a campaign rally right here in Tampa. Bondi gets up on stage and endorses Donald Trump for president. The following week, Trump representatives, they acknowledged that illegal donation. They blamed it on a series of clerical errors. And then in July, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, they file a complaint asking for an investigation into whether or not Bondi broke the law by not pursuing legal action against Trump University. A Couple of months later, the Washington Post reports that the IRS fined the Trump Foundation for that illegal donation. Less than two weeks after that, September 13th, 2016, Crew then files criminal bribery complaints against both Trump and Bondi with the Department of Justice. So now let's fast forward another two years. That brings us up to 2018, December. Trump is now the president and the Trump Foundation officially shuts down amid all of this controversy. And then we skip again ahead to just last week on Wednesday. We start to hear reports coming out that Bondi is going to be joining the White House communications team. And then on Thursday of last week, a judge orders the president to pay $2 million for misusing his nonprofit, the Trump Foundation, to further his campaign for president. So those are all the dots. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort to connect them all.